Now hold on, I love Mr. Beast just as much as y'all 129 million people, but in just one 15 minute video, he managed to ruin this guy's life. Oh, come on, what could he have possibly done? He gave him a million dollars. And then made him spend the whole thing in one freaking day. So you now have 24 hours to spend the one million dollars. Like I said, Mr. Beast, he's great. King of YouTube, I'll hail the king. I love him. I love his mission statement. I just want to make the best videos possible. And I love that that usually means giving people money. It's actually nice to know that humanity likes seeing generosity so much that that's like the best content you can make. Good job, guys. I'm proud of us. We're doing our part. It feels great to know that our views actually help, or not help, they're essential in making this whole thing work. So we get some entertainment, Mr. Beast gets a banger video, advertisers get some views, and the person gets a million dollars. It's like a win 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 probably the next or win there somewhere right well yes for the most part. i actually think mr beast is one of the most genuine guys on youtube Aww. i think his generosity is legit he likes helping people and he's a master at his craft his videos and the way he treats retention with the precision of a surgeon is inspiring the cloud is back again my complaint is not that he films the acts of generosity or that he's doing it for the views i don't think so i think just the views are an essential piece to making this thing work oh my god this cloud my issue is this video. I hate it. Now, I did not just find it. I watched it three years ago when it came out. I was entertained. I liked it. I moved on. But that was when I was young and stupid. Now I'm young and slightly less stupid. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Mr. Beast was at the top of his game. He had just had a four-part series in which the winner, at the end of it all, would get a million dollars. Last one of you to take your hand off this million dollar stack of cash keeps it. <laughs> Yeah, that moment cost a million dollars. You look kind of bad. I still think about you, man. I'm so sorry. That, that must have... Uh, uh. But this guy won, and he deserved every penny of it. Uh, the million dollar challenge. No way! Yes. No way! He seemed like a super great guy, so appreciative. And after he won... He had to spend the whole thing in 24 hours. We're starting off the day. Grab what you want. This. I can get that. That was actually just a joke. I told him to do that. What we're actually going to do is be responsible and try to set Mark up for his future. We're going to make smart purchases like a house, cars, and sure, do some investments. Sure, sure. Are you freaking this, kidding me, Jimmy? This, this. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to get He says this. that. He says they're going to do some responsible stuff, and then he goes and buys... <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I want a Nintendo Switch. All right. Two of us. Whoa, Sue. Are you sure you don't want the cheaper one? Ah, yes, yeah, get the cheaper one. Yeah, he's rich, yeah. You have a million dollars. I, I don't believe this is real. It is. Man, this is crazy. Here are your three MacBooks right here. Three okay. MacBooks. MacBooks. Okay. okay. Seven iPhones. Seven, Seven iPhones. iPhones. That's insane. It's all for you, dude. They are for my wife, my cousin, and my sister's friends, so. Okay, I gotta give it to him. I love this guy. He is like actually really generous, really appreciative of everything. He seems like such a good guy. But, but why? I don't know how much that was, but it's right there on the counter. Wow. He just offered him a way out, a way to take care of his family for eternity, for generations. And then decided to pull out the rug from under him by taking him to Best Buy and giving him 24 hours to spend the life-changing money in one day. This video is the most materialistic and consumeristic, is that even a word? Video ever. And it's not like I'm even the most minimalistic person ever. If Matt Diavella watched this, he'd have a heart attack. My heart didn't have an attack. It just got shaken up a little bit. Now, I know Mr. Beast is the one that gave him the money. He should maybe have a right to tell him how to spend it. No, he really shouldn't. Well, maybe the guy knew in advance that if he won, he would have to spend it in 24 hours. And yeah, maybe, that's fine. That's not the problem. The problem is, why? Okay, I know why. Views, 108 million of them. I get it, I watched it, I was entertained. Of course it makes great content, of course I'm gonna watch it. The same way that if you had a video that says I'm gonna burn $100 million in cash, I'd be like, no, no, no way. Like, of course, is that a reason to do it? I'd argue no. I swear, if Mr. Beast's next video is him burning $100 million in cash, Jimmy, I'm coming for you. Now, I kid you not, right as I'm editing the video, Mr. Beast just released a video curing a thousand people of blindness, and I'm over here making a video titled, Mr. Beast just ruined this guy's life. <sighs> Am I just a jerk? Jimmy, you are doing the Lord's work. Thank you for everything. I just gotta make this quick video real quick, because honestly, piss me off. But I love you. I don't do ingredients, this is new to me. I just wanna take a second, let's think this through. One million dollars, think about how much that is for most people. If you're a risk averse, you could put that in a fund that yields 6% a year, and just every year, take out your $60,000, for eternity. Or you can put it in the same fund, only take out 30, leave the other 30 in the fund, and it'll keep growing, also for eternity. And that's just being conservative. You can invest that into your own business and turn that million to millions. You could do some research and value some appreciating assets, or pay off bad debt, or just keep some cash. If you want to know what I would do with a million dollars, go watch that video I made it a few months ago. It goes into all this in greater detail. Now, he actually didn't get a full million dollars. He owed Chandler $100,000 for whatever reason. That was a predetermined rule before the million dollar challenge. The coach of the contestant got 100 grand. And he had promised to give his ex-competitor $50,000. During the last to stop biking video, you said this. You win the million dollars, you want to give him 50 grand? Yes, I want to give him 50 grand. 
Aww. And then he also took $300,000 and saved it for taxes, which honestly goes. Since he's receiving a million dollars, he does have a large tax bill that we need to talk about. You don't have to pay taxes. Set aside $340,000, basically 40%, just to make sure all his tax liabilities are covered. Good. So at $550,000, he could have taken home, invested, saved, managed for the rest of his life. Instead, he spent $23,800 on Best Buy. And I know, it was very sweet. He gave some of his family and friends some of this stuff, and it was very generous. <laughs> I really do appreciate all y'all. But come on, $23,800 in Best Buy? <sighs> Mark said he wanted to buy some cars. So let's go ball out, Mark. Let's go. Oh, you got the rim. Everyone get in the car. I never in my life would think I would be driving or driving something like that. This is a luxury car. How much is this? Mark, I'm, I'm sold. So this car plus the other car is about $100,000 total. Oh, God. He then spent $100,000 on two cars, which are assets, yes. Well, Rich that would disagree with me, but they depreciate like nothing else. Here is a signature right here. Vehicles are yours. Uh, and oh my God, I don't think he financed it, which just, I mean, me and Dave Ramsey could go all day on Borrowing this. Borrowing money to buy a car is stupid. Borrowing money at 17% to buy a car is stupid on steroids, baby. But he could have gotten a good rate for it. Let's say the average APR is 5. Point, what? 5.45%. He get a loan to buy the cars and that money that he would have used to buy them, instead he could have invested them into something that would yield him a higher return than that 5. Point whatever percent. Or maybe just don't spend $100,000 on cars. Cash. You're killing me. Wow. This is nice. Welcome to the new paint residence. I want it. Let's go tell the realtor this. Thank you. Aww. Seriously, man, thank you. No problem. I'm, it just makes me happy that you're happy. Yeah, I am. I love it. I never ever think that I'll really have a house like this. And it's all for my family. And that's the most important thing to me. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So we'll get together over the next few days, have you sign everything. Pretty soon you're gonna get this key. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Just for clarity, how much is this house? It's 165, right? Yep. Okay. Which yeah. is perfectly in the budget. Because we have a million dollars. You then bought a house for $165,000. Honestly, good. You got property. I'm sure he bought it out of pocket, which damn, but like, honestly, I hope he did his research and he looked at the finances, bought a good value, and maybe later he can finance it and get some money out of it. Because now he's also gonna have to pay property taxes for that house, which can be a lot. Here's the thing about that. I'm sure he probably didn't think he needed any. I mean, he had just received a million dollars. So he's like, why would I need a, a loan if I could just pay it outright? And he's right. But not all that is bad. Probably that buy a lot of opportunities to get some really cheap cash. Then again, maybe it's better that he bought it outright with cash. Doesn't have to worry about that. Maybe he wouldn't have managed it the right way. So maybe it's just less risky. Okay, the house. He also furnished it and got appliances for it with a total of $60,000, which makes sense. I'm gonna go buy furniture. It smells good in here. My wife is actually not here, so I'm not gonna be able to get stuff for like the living room. That makes sense. I want the best refrigerator that I got here. I wanna talk in refrigerator. When I wake up, it's like, good morning, Mark. That's the one. These are my dishwashers right here. <laughs> Yes, right here. But not anymore. This is your dishwasher. He also bought his wife a $20,000 wedding ring, which honestly, that's sweet. $20,000? It's a bit oh. extreme. Oh, God. Now, he put $20,000 aside for closing costs on his house. He gave $30,000 as a gift to his mom. And after giving the $100,000 to Chandler and the other money to his competitor, he has now spent a total of $923,000, which means he only has $77,000 left. Breaks my heart. You have 77 grand left. I know you talked about wanting to maybe invest 50K and then set aside like the other 23 for just other little nuances yes. here and there. Out of the 1 million, He's investing $50,000. One third of people who win the lottery eventually go bankrupt. They get a huge influx of cash, don't know how to spend it, they spend it all, and they end up right where they started. Now, I don't know what he did for a living, but it probably didn't change after that day. So he'll still bring home the same amount. I truly hope he's doing well. I wish nothing but the best for him. I just wish he hadn't been put in a position in which he had to spend his whole $1 million in one day. Now, it makes for great content. If I had won and I had to spend the whole thing in one day, I probably would have sat down Jimmy here next to me and looked at the market, maybe found a good apartment complex or something, bought some ETFs. Jimmy would have killed me. Probably not the most entertaining content. Or is it?